I don't like to farm anything out if I don't have to. Sure. <laughs> I, can, I can control the expense a whole lot better if it's in-house. Well, we, we built it for uh, pulling engines. Uh, we've, got, we've got one that needs overhauled, and, and uh, we've never overhauled an ISX engine. So we want to pull it out so we can see it, okay. check all the... Uh, check what we've got to check for to be in spec so that when we put it back together we're we're looking at another engine of a million miles right the uprights are uh, four inch schedule 40 pipe uh, that we procured at a local scrap yard okay. the uh, angle is uh, also came from the scrap yard that we made our own uh, uh, bases we put we weld cut and welded uh, angle together to make our box okay. then it's got uh, seven inch uh, h beam at the top it's half inch flange half inch web okay. then the, the trolley and, and uh, chain hoist those were items from amazon got almost as much in that as we've got in the scrap to get our fitting get our pipes to fit up right to make our a's we used a uh, chalk line drew our uh, uh, template, if you will, on the floor with chalk lines uh -huh. for fitment. And uh, I think there's a 16th of an inch difference in height okay. from side to side. I mean, they're, they're almost just as, as, as close as you can get to perfect with a chalk line and a concrete floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 and a half feet from the bottom of the H to the floor, and it's 12 feet wide actually about 11 six on the inside so it'll it'll roll back along a truck and, and there's still room to get between it and the, and the side of the truck on each side 15, it's 18. a 2015 it's got 900 and 990 000 on it i think is what the uh, engines got on it trucks got on it not quite certain what happened but it dumped coolant right. into the oil pan why is still to be determined when we come come apart with it, it it'll be a post-mortem sure. uh, looking for what failed right. uh, see what we can learn i'm i'm assuming that it must have blown a head gasket internally that's that's just an assumption you know i, I don't know because it, it didn't it didn't put any didn't put any coolant to the outside of the block it just blew coolant out the uh, uh pressure relief on the okay. on the radiator Okay. The, the last time that that we pulled a engine out of truck frame uh, -huh. uh we had a, a record service come in and uh pull it out and uh, that's been uh, 10 years ago and like everything changes inevitable and sure. and the operator the record operator that that done it he's no longer operating records yeah. he was a guy that was really attention to detail driven uh and, and we were able to pull out and put back in without pinching any wires or getting anybody hurt. Since he's not in the business anymore, the last time it was 200 out, 200 in. So that's $400 to do it. We've got about $1,000 in this, uh, in, in scrap steel and Amazon parts right. to build this. So, uh, th and this will be here. I mean, it, it's put together well enough that uh, it'll be something to put in the wheel. Who's gonna get it? <laughs> <laughs>